jump back into the buzz with Alex, Jason, and Keith. I've got about 20 minutes before Big Don Olsen here shoves me in a stand and covers me in tinsel. But halfway home, my twine gets loose, and that makes me your problem. And if you have cut rate insurance, you may not be covered for this. It's a good all state where you can save money and be better protected from mayhem, like me. It's one of the funniest commercial campaigns of the past year and just one of the many ads to be honored tonight at the Association of Independent Commercial Producers show at the Guthrie. Yeah, and joining us to talk about some of those top commercials of 2011 is the president and CEO of the Association of Independent Commercial Producers. As always, joining us again this year, Matt Miller. Hello, Matt. Nice to see you guys. Good nice to see you, you again this year, too. Um, right off the bat, the first commercial, uh, this first commercial that we're about to see a hit during the, the Super Bowl, it was our favorite, uh, from Volkswagen, features a familiar piece of music, familiar looking little costume gentleman. Let's take a look at this one. Little kid makes an ex unexpressionless mask to have expression on it. That's yeah. awesome. Now that one's cute on many levels, but what did this ad win for? This was actually one of the best ads of the year, one for advertising excellence, but mm -hmm. it also won for talent performance, which mm -hmm. is interesting because his performance is totally under a costume. Right. Um, you know, one of the things that resonates with that spot so well is it hits so many levels. Kids relate to it, parents relate to it. There are so many things that went on. But interestingly enough, VW did something with the Super Bowl spot that most don't do. They they released it a day or two before the Super Bowl. By the time it ever aired, it had 20 million hits on YouTube. So oh, that's based right. on the that release, ran it out the wazoo, yeah. And there's two different <clears throat> versions, right? There was a shorter version that right. ran, and then the longer, like one minute version. Right, exactly. But but what's amazing is I think what we're seeing is a turn and a use of social media in a way that advertisers hadn't seen it before. It also won in our show for best web viral film because of the viral presence. Right in our next awards, which is also a, a featured area of sort of non-traditional media that's emerging. So, um, you know, it shows the crossover between traditional usage and non-traditional release. Next, another Super Bowl commercial, this one from Chrysler, here's part of it. Now we're from America, but this isn't New York City, or the Windy City, or Sin City, and we're certainly no one's Emerald City. Now, what did uh, the Eminem commercial win for? Well, th this one for editing and also um, got got uh, a mention for copywriting. W what's amazing about this ad? It's the the longest ad ever run on the Super Bowl, two minutes, and it's outside the the sort of hard um, hardcore mm -hmm. slapstick humor that we normally see. That's an easy laugh. I mean, it really engaged the audience. It it made you work for it. But the heartfelt nature of of branding. Um, a car mm -hmm. by, by also relating it to the city in general and growing the entire category, not just for the single car. <clears throat> was definitely a very new and interesting way to go about it. Obviously using Eminem gave it sort of that star appeal and someone that's also so well associated with that city. Yeah, it's a commercial for a car and, and for a city as well. So. Yeah, and it was a great job. And you're right though, that Bill, I didn't realize it was two minutes, but it did have that, that slow burn where it just kind of slowly made everyone pay attention because it was commercial that didn't go away. Yeah, re really epic. Shot beautifully, beautiful. um, written in incredibly. It was really engaging. And you know what, it was a time where it's heartfelt. Right? Right. It brings you back to the core of what Detroit's all about. It's saying, you know, we're back in it. We're not laying down. We're here to compete. This is what we're all about. And it really was a strong message that resonated with the audience in, in so many ways. Well, funny commercials always have a place. Uh, during the Super Bowl or make an impact wherever you need to go. And two insurance companies earned awards this year for their funny ads. The first from Geico. Let's take a look at this one. Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Was Abe Lincoln honest? Does this dress make my backside look big? Perhaps it will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 
even see <laughs> I that one. Seen that one either, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Boy, you know, th that resonates so well, right? I mean, there are so many things about that thing that, that just really uh, grabs you. But they, they've been running that campaign. And what's so interesting about Geico is they can run the parallel campaigns. You know, mm -hmm. they have the gecko running. They have the cavemen running. They have this whole campaign running all around a, a central theme. And, and they really have elevated um, insurance advertising to a place where it never been before. Well, and speaking of insurance, another insurance company, Allstate, has had a big hit with its Mayhem commercials. We saw this one earlier. Here's another one. I'm a typical teenage girl. My BFF Becky texts and says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. Now, I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all OMG. Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. How did this one do? Well, th this actually, this one for campaign of the year. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. They really did reimagine the Allstate brand. I mean, something that's been such a sort of staid and conservative brand over, over the years. And here, you know, Geico really did elevate it for everyone and, and brought in humor and brought a different yeah. way of looking at car insurance and, and, you know, insurance in general. And Allstate really did have to, you know, rethink their position in the marketplace because Geico was gaining so much market share on it everyone through through awareness and through their advertising and another one here some commercials feature celebrities also scored big we're watching one here now in just a second uh, featuring it's American Express ad uh, with Conan O'Brien so celebrities coming on through here how did this one do no, this this was fantastic again this is a two-minute spot that did very well um, you know uh, over the internet. I mean, this is something that was broadcast originally and made for the web, uh, as well as having, <coughs> excuse me, cut downs for, for television. But so many interesting ways that they actually brought celebrity in, they brought Conan's writing in, the launch of his new show, and they used the media as sort of the subject matter, you know, in the end, this sort of brings it around to the premiere of the show and he's backstage, but, and, you know, the detail that he's bringing to the show, but also brings in the brand of American Express and ties that together so well. And a commercial featuring Kevin Bacon in disguise uh, talking about uh, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> I love this <laughs> oh, yeah, ad. I was to get that, yeah. How did this one do? Uh, this, this again was, was uh, mentioned in, in copywriting and, and this is also in, you know, in a humor spot. I mean, obviously it's really funny when you can use a, 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 a brand like Kevin Bacon and all that we know about Kevin Bacon and the six degrees and all the, the popular culture aspects for him to sit there and talk about all the wonderful things about Kevin Bacon being Kevin Bacon's number one fan uh, is, is just, you know, a, a funny multi-dimensional uh, campaign and, and use a celebrity. And who doesn't love Kevin Bacon? That's true. Well, Matt, Matt Miller, thank you for joining us this morning. Great to be here. Yep, and the 20th Annual Association of Independent Commercial Producers show is happening tonight at the Guthrie Theater. The commercials will be screened at 7 with a reception to follow. Now, here's Alex.